Fihuani ya kwa nse mfufuru emu. Enka na isi wafu anuwa rensa. Seobu adi ebo primu. Ene abefu ntinti enfidi kwa nso niyo ma. Professor Frimpo Mbwate. Wadi ya disre diye niye futu wa magana fuose beya. Atosudia hudua yedi eno. Sin tuu simeku nya aduwa jeno numuni ya diadeno. Enka bronua nasa manta mua sika koko utu. Eko suwa hopa enka nka galamse eno. Ebe ya nke ebifri honu mba ama yeni. Eni nina ya national dialogue on galamse ya join news for. Eye ye ena wade sefu tuwe maa. Se ya ne udro. E wansa si ni nsuwe ni munti esa abi uwe nwe ya nini mu inti enwe ya mwye. Wanshe mu pia mpanyi fwote shishe suwa na wadi nko mo edifra kwa ti kwa ya ni pebiye uo mai gane mu efetu ya fuma gudia na seno. Kani Minister of Environment, Science and Technology, Prof. Frimpo Mbwateng, eka saa ye chire chire mu insi nsu ansubwa ni ibiya gala msi ya uo tu mai gane mu no ebe timiye di abre gana adeshi ya pumu di insi. Na inye nun kwa osasu si si iso Infasopia, Phyto Remediation, ebe timiye di abro mai gana, ewe kwe juma, ya ye wo mai gana emo. It will be very dangerous to eat vegetables, especially salads, greens, from many areas, because of the pollution. And that is why we do what we call Phyto Remediation. And I think the Minister of Agriculture should think about these things. We need to plant certain things that to absorb or take out the poison, uh, the metals in the body. So we know that if you plant sunflower, uh, it will absorb magnesium and chromium. Broccoli, uh, cabbage and broccoli will take care of lead, zinc, and cadmium. So also water lettuce, which will absorb cadmium, mercury, chromium, and copper. And then water hyacinth will take care of the rest. So it will be unwise to for anybody living in the mining areas to plant things, you will poison yourself. And so we think that uh, Ministry of Agriculture should look at these things as we fight illegal. 